Hi, I'm Steph, and I'm going to show you how to make water explode. This is the best demo in the entire world. Whoa! It's electrolysis, and the reason it's brilliant is because it takes something unbelievably dull and boring and ordinary, water, and it makes it do something absolutely extraordinary. Now, I've always wondered since I was a kid why water doesn't explode. Now, that's a combination of oxygen and hydrogen right there. Both of those are highly combustible, so you'd have thought you could just light a match and... Kaboom! But it doesn't explode. If you can split the H2O of water into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, then you've got a very, very explosive situation. To do the tiny, small version, what you need is this. So, you need a little cup, a 9 volt battery, and two drawing pins. It always helps with any demos like this to have a couple of these to make it look really cool. Little LED torches. So, what you need to do is take your plastic cup and push your drawing pins through the bottom of them. The other one mustn't touch the first one. There we go, that's perfect. Now, those two drawing pins are going to act as little electrodes. A little bit of water. And then look very closely. Almost straight away, you can see tiny little bubbles being released from one of these electrodes. Uh, now that one is attached to the negative contact of the battery. And that's hydrogen gas coming off it you should get oxygen off the other electrode. But the oxygen oxidizes straight away and it kind of makes a sort of a rust that covers the drawing pin there. It's pretty cool to look at. It's much cooler if you do the same thing all over again using one of these, a USB microscope. I think this is incredibly cool, but it's not cool enough because you have to take my word for it that that's oxygen. You can't really do anything with it. The only way to make this really exciting is to do it on a bigger scale. Meet Ethel, a large scale electrolysis demo. Now, it's exactly the same principle as the battery and the drawing pins and the cup, but on a huge scale. So let me show you around. So we've got six beautiful filter flasks here and each one of them has got two electrodes. They're made out of a carbon rod and a piece of solder. And they're connected to another couple of little carbon rods that come out of the top all the way through, through this bung, which sits beautifully here to make sure that the whole system is completely watertight. Now, each of these electrodes is connected in a circuit. So it starts at one end with an ammeter, and it goes through Connected to the electrode here, the circuit is completed by the water, out through the electrode here, in, out, in, out, all the way around through six filter flasks. The last one has another connection. What's critical about this is that it's all completely airtight because air pressure will build up in here and that's what we need. So as well as putting the carbon rods through the bungs, we've Aerodited them together. There's a bit of epoxy resin that's made everything completely airtight. Now, each of the filter flasks has a little nozzle coming off it, and these are connected by a series of tubes into one final smaller filter flask with a Hoffman clip on the end of the last bit of tubing and a little rubber balloon. If this works, the pressure will build up so much that this balloon will have to expand to cope with the pressure. You need to hook it up to a high tension power supply. And we're gonna connect through the ammeter so we know what the, the current is gonna be. Negative contact in here, the positive contact in here. Three, two, one. One thing that's absolutely amazing about this is how it looks. You get this spiral cloud of bubbles coming up from, from the solder contacts. Um, and here you can see the oxygen coming off as well. So unlike with um, 
the battery and the drawing pin, you're actually getting these tiny bubbles of oxygen coming off the carbon rods. I think it's, it's just stunning. It's also kind of simple at the same time as being incredibly complicated. Uh, what I'm going to do is put this in a separate room and leave it for a couple of hours to see how much gas we can collect. Here we are, we're all set up to set light to the balloons. So, inside here should be a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen, which has been split apart from the water. Set light to my splint. That's pretty good. And here we go. Wow! Oh. Now that is a huge explosion from a tiny balloon. Now, what I think is really, really beautiful about this is that the explosion of the hydrogen and the oxygen together makes water. It's a beautiful cycle. Now, all of the instructions about how to set up this demo are alongside the video. Thank you so much for watching. We've made this film together with our friends at Timstar to show you what you can do with some of their fantastic lab kit. Lots of ideas to show you how to inspire people with fascinating science.